I was able to create some really great products from this new update. And I want to share with you how you can start creating these type of designs as well. Help you start selling better on Etsy. I want to share this all with you coming up next. All right, so we're going to jump into my creative prompt AI tool. This is a tool I built for my Etsy community to make it just easy for you to find great products to sell, create amazing products with AI, and really just make it easy for you to get designs up and loaded in your shop. And again, this is a part of my Etsy membership community where I give you coaching and courses and creative tools like in today's video to help you sell better. And one of the updates I had in my membership community is my new remix studio where again i was able to create all of these top designs here that again is all following best-selling products but we're able to do something a little bit different as we're able to merge two designs to create something drastically new and then take that design as our own digital asset to make many variations so i just want to share that with you now before we jump into our creative tools one of the areas we definitely want to spend time is in my niche finder 2.0 this is a brand new update i provided for my etsy membership community where i'm able to plug in any product category t-shirt coffee mugs or if i have one that i'm not necessarily selling here i can stick that in here so if i'm selling something like stickers i can plug that in here and put in dog mom and this is going to find all of the best selling products within again whatever product category i have selected this is only going to show me the best sellers and popular nows which again makes this so easy so helpful and so quick to use because everything on here is a top selling product now we're not selling stickers but you can see just how easy it is to find any product you want to sell and we definitely want to do product research before we design our product so we know what is selling well and we can make our own variation and our own unique design with this tool so with that being said let's head back over to niche finder we're definitely going to plug in t-shirts and one of the areas that we definitely want to spend time in creating is things related to christmas so we're definitely going to put that in here and now we can search all the best sellers on etsy just with a simple click of a button and now we have poplar nows best sellers all these amazing type of things we can start creating and selling so there's a ton of Christmas shirts that's doing extremely well, but let's go even further with our micro niche, right? We want to go even further and maybe put Christmas mom and we can search this on Etsy. We can really see some nice designs in regards to this space. So one of the things we want to do is utilize a mock-up photo just as our reference image. And from there, we're going to remix this even further to create something new. So here is a designer selling. We're going to copy the image here, head back over to my creative prompt tool. And we're going to head over to the Remix Studio page where it's going to give us that opportunity to use a reference image that we can remix even further. So all that we have to do here is go down to the bottom. We want to upload our reference image. I'm going to click paste here. And now I have this image as a reference I can start using to create something new. From here, I want to go ahead and crop this as I just want to simply focus on the image here. And again, we're not going to copy the image, but we're going to use this image as a reference style for design elements, colors, and overall design placement. But then we're going to use a secondary image to create something different from what we have here. So with that being said, I want to head over to the top and I already have some pre-made prompts set in place. That's going to be perfect when we're trying to create t-shirts. We also have some pre-made prompts for Tumblr wraps as well, or we can put in our own custom prompt in this open box here. With that being said, I want to go over to t-shirt PNG variation as this has a pre-prompt already set in place for us to get a different variation from the original that we have and really go a step further to really add some things in that's going to be different. I want to select the background to be white and here I have an option to put in additional things to the pre-made prompt. If I want to focus on a specific niche, or a specific person or add in a unique style i can add to that pre-made prompt that i already have but i'll share with you some examples of what we get for the pre-made prompt and even some changes we can make ourselves so with that being said i'm going to leave this open as it is we have our pre-made prompt already selected which is going to give us a variation from the design and i select my color to be white for my background here the only thing I have to do here is hit generate and we'll see what we were able to gather as a result. All right, so here is the design we were able to get. Again, this gave us a totally different variation 
from what we originally started off with. And again, we didn't tell it to focus on a specific person or a specific niche. We just simply clicked this variation prompt here and it gave us a different variation from the original prompt that was selected. And you can see just how much of a difference we were able to get from here. Now, let's just say for instance, if I do want to focus on a specific niche, let's just say for instance, I want to focus on a nurse niche that's still within this Christmas theme. I can head down to the bottom area here where I can add in some more instructions for the prompt so I'm going to say make this about a nurse but keep the Christmas theme and the colors and from there that's all I have to do to really make a variation specifically in the target niche I want to focus on With that being said it's still going to take some likeness from image reference one but we're going to get a totally new design from what we gathered here this is the design we were able to gather and I think this came out extremely well we can see definitely some themes with the reference image in this here, but it's definitely taken upon that niche that we wanna focus on, which is the nurse niche. You can just see how much of a difference we were able to come from the original here, which is this design, and we were able to really branch this off to be focused on a nurse theme for Christmas and really create something special. And now this can be a new digital asset we use as a reference image that, that we can remix even further, but you can see how easy that is to create different variations of what we have here. Now, the cool thing about this, again, Again, is that if we are in here for my designs you can head over to the remix and studio so now we can take the design we just created use that now as a reference image to create multiples of these maybe we can create this as a bundle set we can create this as multiple t-shirt or sweatshirt variations of different type of people we want to focus on There's a lot of opportunities here we can grab from already having our digital asset we can remix even further so that being said i want to remix this in studio a little bit more again select the preset for png white background but it has already placed our design as the reference image here and now i can go in here and, and hit generate and come up with a new design here or i can be specific in regards to my niche i want to target and the style i want to target to add in something different so with that being said now we can make this to be let's just say for a teacher design so i'll say make this a teacher design but keep the christmas theme and the colors and with that in place all thing we have to do here is hit generate and now it's going to take our image that we created with the nurse shirt here and create this to be a variation for a teacher and as you can see that came out extremely well definitely taking upon the same type of likeness from our original design as we can see here that doodle style type of letters that nice bow the nice phrase at the bottom but again it brought in something different and i think that is what makes the difference when we are able to utilize these images as references for our design here and i think that came out extremely well now, the cool thing about this it said that if we do want to add in a reference image too, now it's going to take some of the likeness of the design style, fun style, even placement from image two, just to bring in a new style when we are creating our designs. So now we're using two images to create our design. And this is how we're able to really make one of a kind designs with our images here. So with that being said, we'll keep this as it is with our nurse theme here. We'll go ahead and remove this teacher and we'll keep it on the nurse here and now i'm going to add in a different image for our reference and we're going to head back into etsy here and i'm going to utilize this design here just as a reference for our secondary image as that is bringing in a lot of character with the design style and i think this will be great for us to redesign and recreate just as a secondary image so with that being said i'm just going to copy the mock-up image i'm going to head back over into my remix studio here i'm going to go down to the bottom where it says add in my reference image two i'm going to paste this in and now i'm going to highlight specifically on the area i want to focus on so we'll focus on this area here we can zoom in even further to see this a little bit better i'm going to crop the image here and now we have our main image that we created our digital asset and now we have a mock-up image from Etsy that we're gonna glean from. And we're gonna see what type of things we were able to gather as a result. So now this is set back to nurse. Let's go ahead and hit generate and we'll see what we are able to gather as a result. All right, and we can see just how of a difference 
we were really able to gather this as a result. Again, we can see all of the inflections from the secondary image with the reindeers here, even the colors and just the overall theme. Again, it brought in a little bit of that from the secondary image, but it's still focused on the nurse shirt and even have the same type of words here, Christmas Angel at the bottom. But again, this is the power of bringing in a different reference image. As you can see here, it definitely brought in some of the colors from the secondary image over into the first image here and really allowing us to create what I believe a one of a kind design with our overall product. Now this could be once again, another digital asset we can use to further create different variations, create different art styles, create multiple different phrases for a design that can do extremely well. I think that definitely can save us time and that can definitely sell well. So again, this is what we were able to gather with that being a secondary reference image. And this is another variation of what we gather as well. We can see just how well that came out, which I think did fantastic. So as you can see, we definitely came up with some nice variations for our overall designs, things that I think would come out great if you pair these with different design styles, definitely focus on different niches, definitely a huge opportunities to even go further than what we created today. Just so you can see the opportunities that you can create amazing designs just with this product. And again, this tool made it so easy for us to find top selling products and recreate them and redesign them and definitely bring in something new that can sell extremely well. Now, if you do want to get access to this tool, again, this is specifically a tool I built for my Etsy membership community where I give you private coaching, group coaching. I give you my 80 video course series all about how to sell well on Etsy, as well as all the creative tools I talked about in today's video, as well as daily trending AI prompts. So you know what needs to focus on, what keywords to use, and how to sell well on Etsy. If you want to get access to all of that, simply click the link down in my description box below. That will give you access to my Etsy membership community, as well as access to my creative AI tool that can help you sell well online. As always, my friends, my name is Jay. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.